Okay, hey guys, it's time for my review of episode two of Grand Dicer U, of course. So, um, let me tell you that there's not gonna be a lot of action in this episode, starting off, of course, but of course, uh, we pick up right where we left off with Grand Dicer holding um, Massinger C's head. I hope you guys aren't too bothered, but by the stuff that I have to put here. It's just that we have to avoid copy by strikes. Because if I get strikes, the channel gets taken down and that is no good. So, everybody's shocked, even Sayaka. And as so you guys can see here, Grandizer comes out with energy and looks like he's gonna fry Koji, right? So, so Jack, I guess, worry, but nope. He just destroys a saucer. And the saucer destroys a building. It's not good, so the damage that was caused by the army plus Grandizer uh, coming out and attacking has been really bad. So, uh, Duke is really disturbed by this, and Koji as well. You know, and then we get a flashback to actually see what the hell happened. You know, what the hell happened that made it. So the red tears form on Grandizer, as you guys can see there. Boom. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool that Grandizer with the red tears and keeps unleashing a lot of crazy power. But remember, there's nobody to fight here, so he just takes off. <laughs> he goes away, and you can see Massinger sees his head falling down. And Koji goes like, nope, I'm not staying there. And starts following Grandizer. And Grandizer is gonna get in his spacer. And Koji is able to actually get inside though, which is pretty cool. I like that, that they, you know, let him go inside Grandizer's spacer. That's pretty awesome that they went with that. I'm not, I'm not sure if they do that in the original series, but hey, so far here, looks pretty good. So then we get the intro, of course, which is. A little bit telling because, well, there's a little bit of spoiler he around here, um, which pretty much shows you uh, the spacer pilots pretty much. Uh, but I like I like the intro. I like how they did the intro. Is pretty cool, you know. Just as to, you know, the Grandizer U there, which is great. And, you know, it, it is kind of spoilery, but still, it's pretty awesome to watch it. And you guys see Sayaka is on the double spacer, which is really awesome. Of course, um, I sure forgot her name. Is in the Marine. And of course, Duke's little sister, Maria Fleet, is on the drill spacer. So that leaves Koji. Um, yeah, Massinger C. Kinda. We'll, we'll we'll get to that. They they actually they kind of address that in the episode. So the episode starts off here. We're seeing this big space station uh, that has this giant diamond. It looks like a freaking diamond ring. That's pretty much what it is. And then we're introduced to some of the enemies here, some of the bad guys. And you get to see this guy. It kind of has like that bearing Ashura feel to it, you know. Of that. How do you say this? Um, Kind of like that lordship to it, but it's not really a lord, you know. Kind of like that. And then we see somebody new. Oh, yeah. One crazy son of a motherfucker. Yes, this guy. Hmm. Tado. It's here. And he's one crazy asshole. If you don't believe me, check this. Just check this part out. Check that out. Fighting the gun. And then. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna stab you. Pretty crazy. You know, so he's one of the villains. And of course, we get back to where the spacer is. And the spacer actually came to this island. Yes, 
Uh, we're gonna get lore. We're gonna get lore. So, Pacer crashes. Duke wakes up. And he's on the island. And he's just remembering. And he just freaks out. Starts running away. But since Duke is a dumbass, he slips and he falls. On his ass, of course. Yeah, right on Massinger's fist right there. And then he's, you know, remembering Koji's behind him, you know, going to talk. And they basically, you know, talk about uh, Koji kind of freaks out as well. You know, dude tells him the story of what happens. And that's what we're going to see here. But uh, Koji wants to use Grandizer. He, he wants to use Grandizer. And... The thing is, Duke tells him, like, dude, you can't use Grandizer. You just can't. But just like, no, it's more powerful than Massinger C in this Earth needs saving. So I'm going to use it. So Koji runs like an idiot. And he goes to Grandizer. And he tells Grandizer, Grandizer, I'm the one that's going to command you now. And Grandizer goes like, I'll show you. Grandizer goes like, scanning. No, fuck you. Boom. Uh, yeah, Grandizer just shot Koji with a small beam. Um, that was really interesting. I was not expecting that, but it, it does. Now, the the beam doesn't kill Koji, but it does hurt him. So, Duke has to provide medical assistance, of course. He has to get him to that medical facility, like Vince McMahon would say. But then we come back here to Kado. And I did not see this part because I had to go to the bathroom, so I missed it, but I was recording it. So, yeah, you can see he is, you know, he's pretty charming. I mean, the ladies like him. Um, ladies like him a lot, as you can see there. Yeah. And he cast his lady capture there, and then we go to the Odin lab, of course. For Sayaka, her dad. And this guy, um, I don't know who that guy is, but anyway, they're just talking. Um, about Koji and all that stuff, and Massinger, and how Paris is being attacked now. Look here, you can see old ships, so that opening scene. Yeah, that we saw from the tra trailers of all the enemies around is in Paris. And Kado's really looking forward to see Duke again, of course. And now get ready, get ready, get ready. Ladies, simps, get ready because we're gonna get some Koji on Duke action. Here we go. One, two, three. There you go. Shirtless Duke. By the medical assistance Goji. Goji is shirtless as well. And as you guys can see, um, he has like this blood device that they use. It, lo it looks like for, for a blood transfusion or some type of medical uh, liquid there. And, you know, here you can see Goji and they're just both talking. You know, shirtless Goji. They're talking about Grandizer. You can see uh, Koji's um, pilot suit there with the horn part from the laser, which is nice. I like that little nice detail that they added there. And I think I almost fucked up there. <laughs> but hey, uh, Duke is prepared. I mean, he has candy bars. He has some hot cocoa there. I mean, like, dude, Red Dicer has it all. I mean, he has a freaking mini mart inside there. It's great. That's a good thing. And then, the Grand Dicer, Grand Dicer, I mean, dude tells him more of the story of what actually happened. That he went to the palace, and you guys can see that everybody's freaking dead. All the knights are dead. Finds the Vega Empire there. He kills a few of them. And then, he finds this guy, and he's like, who are you? How can you not activate Grand Dicer as, you know, defense system and it's like it's me 
It's me, Austin. It's Kado. Kado reveals himself there. And then he manages to knock Duke's helmet out. And Duke gets really pissed off. Jumps on Grandizer. And activates it. And as Grandizer is coming up, uh, this happens. Duke gets to see stepmother and stepfather there and who killed them well surprise surprise Kado did yeah he did he killed them and that's what triggers uh the freaking you know the madness the madness the anger and he just this thing is pretty awesome because he just comes up and you see it, and everybody's like in panic. Everybody's like, a Grandizer, oh, he, he came to help us. And no, he's trying to kill Kado, but at the same time, he's killing everybody that's around. So, <laughs> that is a pretty bad situation. And then, this happens. Um, Kado gets on a ship, and the, aquas the Aquadizer comes out, trying to stop Grandizer. And yeah, Duke doesn't get it and he starts going crazy again. So now that Grandizer, you know, we see it firing the red lightning bolts, the red space thunder, the red lasers, everything. It's red. A little ship comes in and this little ship is doing a really funny noise and he's trying to stop duke and it's rubina yes rubina duke's uh fiance and she tries to get to duke and duke is you know still assess see assess right there and he's remembering you know because she tells him about the palace and how he destroyed it and he remembers the times they had together at least one time and he kind of wakes up, but he remembers that Kyle is going away. And Grandizer goes like, oh, we have to kill this guy. And this happens. Yes. He loses control. And boom. Goodbye, Rubina. Yes, Rubina is supposedly killed. Supposedly. We'll see if it's true. And of course, Rina's sister gets pissed off. And this is pretty awesome. Dude, you guys have to watch this part. I mean, Grandizer comes up and check that out. Drill Crescent Punch. Punch. The freaking, um, how you call this? The one with the rainbow. The rainbow blaster. Let's go just go at that. Uh, Space Thunder going up everywhere. This is crazy. And this is what destroys his planet, basically. This is what causes all the destruction this thing right here that looks badass that's what causes it and yeah again hot cocoa i mean like grand it has hot cocoa it's a hot cocoa machine remember remember that part from um loki season two hot 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 cocoa hot cocoa hot yeah, it has a hot cocoa machine. So, yeah. So they're you know, still talking. You can see that Duke has a um, charm there. on his neck. And, you know, the conversation, you know, is more of, you know, what they're going to do and stuff. And they go back to Grandizer. Suit it up, ready to go. Like, break time's over. But, something happens. Yeah, they find this. I told you guys we were going to get some lore. So they go into the cave, of course, and they find uh, these statues. And of course, Duke, oh, Duke, like, really fast says, oh, that's Grandizer. And what is it doing there, right? And we can clearly see that these are the spacers. That's the double spacers, that's the marine, and that is the drill spacer. 
So the spacers are there and there's a language that the kid doesn't understand. But then this girl comes out and she's like, oh, that's the language of legends. And she asks Duke, are you a good guy or a villain? Which Duke, being Duke, he's like, I don't, I don't know. And Koji's like, oh, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. And Duke's like, I don't want to lie. But she tells him about the fate of two legends coming together you know in this type point in time and space and there you go that's pretty much it you know both of them teaming up so they go back to her house she gives koji a phone because for some reason the powder cannot communicate with sayaka which is weird you think it would maybe something got damaged or something like that and he calls Sayaka and she's like oh Koji's alive Koji's alive and she tells him about Paris of course what's going on and that's where Duke gets pissed off and he's running away and Koji goes behind him and this is very interesting um, because he tells him a little bit more of the story and how he's afraid that pretty much he doesn't want Grandizer, you know, he doesn't know if he's gonna activate Grandizer's power again and the whole thing is gonna repeat itself. You know, and this time Earth will be destroyed. Well, Koji, you know, tells him about the, the, that this is fate, that this was supposed to happen and that he thinks that he still, they, they have to give it a chance. So this is the line that if you've seen the trailers, you know, Duke goes, Hey, um, you have to stop me if anything happens. And Koji goes like, oh yeah, I'll stop you here. Uh, let me give you this. He gives him this ring. Now this ring, uh, Koji says that it has a bomb in it. And if something happens, he can remote detonate it. And the thing is... Koji's like really happy when he says so. You can just see his face. Duke is so happy, and Duke is like, oh, "Okay, yeah, I, I like the idea. Let's do it." Yeah, um, I can tell you right now, Koji's bullshitting. Koji, Kau to Koji. We all know that that's Sayaka's engagement ring I, we all know that's your engagement ring and you're just giving him to him as a bs thing telling that, that it's gonna de detonate yeah it's gonna detonate sayaka's anger that's for sure i don't buy that shit. i really don't buy it because look koji is smart koji knows how to fight and do a bunch of cool stuff but he doesn't think that far ahead so uh, that's bullshit you know so they go back to Grandizer and basically Dukes makes Koji wait as he registers him, you know, on Grandizer's system. Because Koji will be using Boom! You got the Spacer. Oh yeah, go Koji's gonna be commanding the Spacer. Which is great. So it it's nice that they gave him, you know, the big Spacer to use now since he doesn't have Massinger C right now. But I'm guessing he's gonna go back to piloting it at some point. At some point that has to happen. Um, which makes me really excited that this happens. And I hope I hope Massinger gets upgraded to Massinger U. I'm, I'm, that's just gonna be my placeholder name for it. You know, Massinger U. But hey, who knows? Maybe they'll turn Massinger into Massenkaiser, you know? To this big guy there. Mm, by the way. This one, this one, and this one. I own them. I have this one pre-ordered and this one pre-ordered as well. So I do have a review of them. If you guys want to check them out, make sure to go to my review uh, playlist. A little plug there. But you know, he's confident because he has the ring and it's like, wow, I, I don't think Koji. You know, it doesn't make sense. But who knows, maybe this Koji is different. So they take off and she's like, if you're a good guy, I will marry you. If you're a bad guy, then I will kill you. Hey, Duke. Duke, I, I, I'm just going to say this. Duke, 
Look, dude. Your fiance's dead, right? Fair game. Fair game. Just saying. Fair game. No regrets. So, Paddle goes to freaking Paris and kiss a robot. Think he's like, ha ha ha, I'm here. I'm here, Duke. Pierre. Where is he? Where is he gonna be? Oh, he's just there waiting. And ooh, this happens. This is actually pretty awesome. There you go. There's the challenge. Challenge accepted. Right? And Grandizer is here. He calls out Kado. Kado's like, yeah, it's me, Kado. Ha ha ha. Doesn't sound as good as. Oh, it's me, Dio. It was me all along, and you can see the ring there. <laughs> oh, I guess I like so well. And then you get the ending here. Boom. Yeah. That's the last part. That's the ending. The episode then then the other part of course and we get that little outro there which is actually pretty nice i like the way they did kind of like a manga fight version but not all the way oh, good animation and then we have the name of the next episode duke's anger yeah duke's anger so i gotta say uh this episode was actually really interesting in terms of the lore um it's true that they didn't reveal much but i like that they how you say this they revealed enough for us to know what's going on you know with the whole fate thing but i also like that they they're like okay we're we're gonna explain that later but we're just gonna give you more action next episode, which is great. I'm up, I'm up for that. So so far, I'm really liking it, enjoying the series. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. It, it could keep getting better. It could just taste the same. It could go away the dodo, you know. But honestly, I'm really uh, enjoying it. I'm very interested in it. And yeah, um, I want to say thank you to you guys for. Man, that last, um, the first review of the first episode did really good, and it's, it's awesome, but yeah, guys, um, I love Super Robots, like, like I said, I own this guy, this guy, this guy, and I'm gonna be owning this gun soon, and this one later, um, so, I, I just love Super Robots, and... I have high hopes for this series like I said before hopefully this this opens the door or maybe it happens on, on season 2 maybe we'll get to see great Massinger coming into the fold or gather as well it would be so darn good to get those because like I said before on the first episode we do have some really short OVAs of them together but it's not it, it wasn't anything special this has the potential to be really darn good so hopefully that happens so hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time